Go ahead, let's go ahead and begin. We'll start in mountain pose. Just making your way up to the top of your mat. Just take your time arriving, settling in. You might even start with a few deep breaths just to get reacquainted with your breathing. Breathing in deeply through your nose. And an exhale through your nose or out through your mouth. Another nice full and complete breath. And already feeling your body settle in. And as you continue to arrive, just feel the ground beneath you, even rooted and connected. Free to check in with your body. Just notice how it's feeling at the moment. Add any movement, just to be aware of any sensations, any discomfort in your body that your practice might help you with. And just to bring more attention and awareness to your breath, you might inhale to feel breath rising upward to fill your lungs. Nice expansive breath in and a slow and controlled breath out. And as you exhale, perhaps draw your navel in towards your spine and awareness of your center, engaging the abdominal lock. Again, a full breath in, feel the lengthening of your spine, breath rising, filling up your lungs. Slow and controlled exhale, connecting and engaging your center body. Let's take three more breaths here. Prepare your body to move. ready. Inhale and extend your arms overhead. Nice lengthening sensation through the whole body. Exhale, it's fold forward. So we're hinging at the hips. Bend your knees as much as you need to and just make your way down towards your toes. Perhaps even a partial fold. And inhale, slide your hands up to your shins, your knees and extend your spine. Feel like you're coming forward. Feel that length. Exhale, melt your way back down to your forward fold. And again, this could be a partial fold where your hands might be resting on your shins or knees or thighs. Or if it feels okay today, just bend your knees, hang heavily forward. Maybe you can touch your toes or touch the ground with your fingertips. And wherever you are, just continue with breath. Feeling your breath. Adding movement here as well. Check in with your shoulders. If there's some mobility there, maybe some circles with your shoulders, backward a few times and forward. You might even nod yes slowly, shake your head slowly. Just releasing any tension in your upper back, your neck and your shoulders. Take another breath, letting it go. Let's do another halfway lift. So an in inhale, you might slide your hands up to your shins and re-extend your spine, just long and flat like a table. Exhale, back down we go. And ready to stand. First, shifting your weight into your heels, bend your knees, feel like you're gonna sit down. Lifting the chest, and spread your wings. Here we go, inhale, rising tall, reach into the air. And exhale, you can bring your hands to heart or arms down to your side. And just pause for a moment, feel the breath. Let's go through that half salute once again. Whenever you're ready, inhale, sweep your arms out and up. And exhale, leading with your heart, fold forward, soft knees, guiding your way down. 
Inhale, rising up halfway, long flat back like a table. Exhale, folding forward. Weight shift into your heels, bend your knees, lifting the chest a bit, spread your wings and inhale and float all the way up, reach higher. Exhale, hands to heart or arms to your side. And finishing that short sequence, moving with breath. And just continue this steady flow of breath. Reminder that breath will guide you and support you in your practice. We focus on our core, core work today. So modify if you ever need to, pause, rest. Let's continue our sun salute. Inhale, reach into the air. Nice energy through your hands and fingers. Exhale, swan dive forward. Going at your own pace. Inhale, rise up halfway. Even a little weight shift towards your toes. Really feel like you're coming forward. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees enough so you can place your hands on your mat and walk or step or even hop both feet back to the back end of your mat. Lengthening through the body, arriving in plank pose. Holding for an inhale. In your exhale, we'll take a shortcut to down dog. So bend your knees a little, send your hips into the air. And if need be, make an adjustment with your feet. Maybe stepping forward a tiny bit. Adjust your hands, whatever you need to do so you can really form that high mountain peak, your hips high in the air. Feel free to hold in place and just be with breath or add movement here, checking in with your feet, your toes, your ankles, calves, bending your knees, even a little movement in your hips. And getting ready to move from this position. First, a nice full breath in. Again, filling up your lungs as you're able. Exhale, draw belly in, connecting. Bend your knees, walk, step, or hop. Both feet return to the top of the mat to your forward fold. Inhale, lengthening through, through the spine. Exhale, fold. Our weight shift into the heels and bend your knees. Inhale, reverse your swan dive. Get tall here. And you exhale right away. Move into chair pose or a chair-like position. Outstretched arms. Let's breathe in, moving right away. Exhale, diving out of your seat, back down towards your toes, forward fold. Inhale, sliding your hands up the legs. Here's our half forward fold. Exhale, all the way down we go. Bend your knees, plant your hands out in front of you on your mat. Hop or step back into plank pose. Draw that straight line. We're just gonna hold here a tiny bit longer. Since we're working core, this is great core work right here. As you exhale, you just wanna feel your belly button pull up towards your spine. Your next exhale, you can move right into down dog with the shortcut or bend your elbows to finish your push up, coming down to the earth, nice. Inhale to upward facing dog or even a cobra pose, a nice low back bend. And exhale, guide your way into downward facing dog. Adjusting your feet and hands, fully arriving in the posture. When you're ready, inhale, extend your right leg up behind you, reaching back. And then exhale, stepping through, right foot to the top of the mat. There it is. Landing there, left heel will turn to the floor behind you. Be sure to shift your weight back into that foot so you feel balanced on both feet. Lightness in the hands, long spine, so you can inhale, rise up, reach into the air, very much like our extended mountain pose. Exhale, fold, hinging from the hips, come right back down. Plant your hands strongly underneath your shoulders. Slide your right foot back. There's plank pose. Again, the shortcut to down dog is fine or chaturanga dandasana. You can bring knees to the floor first. Yes, then your chest. Low cobra or up dog or something in between for your back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Again, always moving at your own pace. When you're ready, inhale, extend left leg up, reaching dynamically back for that back wall. Good. Exhale. Here we are stepping through it. Even feel like you're stepping over something. Landing at the top, right heel turns to the floor. Find your center, long torso. Inhale, rising up, energy through your hands. Open heart. Exhale, folding. Hands return to the earth, plant them strongly into the ground. Slide or pull that left foot back. There's plank pose. And just finish your flow any way you'd like, just arriving in downward facing dog. Just a breath right here in your down dog. Let's do some floor work. Gently bring your knees to the floor, 
sit back briefly in hero. We're going to sit off to the side so you can swing your legs around to the front. <clears throat> Maybe scoot forward so you're sitting in the center of your mat. Carefully roll down onto your back. Go ahead and draw your knees into chest. Just hold here for several breaths. So you can add some movement. Go ahead and place your feet on the floor. Now your feet can land where they're about hip distance apart. You can certainly take them wider than your hips, maybe towards the edges of your mat. You're going to inhale and just feel the breath fill up your lungs. Exhale, empty your belly, draw belly in. Even feel your low back press into the ground. Then lift your hips away from the ground. You've got it. Right into your bridge pose. Just a nice opened heart sensation and opening for the whole front side of your body. For a little bit more stability, you might bend your arms so they're at 90 degrees, pressing your triceps and elbows down into the ground, even your shoulders. So you can feel that lifting and opening of the upper body and perhaps providing a little bit more support for the upper body. Deep breaths. And feel how strongly the body is engaged in this position. And then just two more breaths. And then to come out of your pose, just wiggle the feet forward a little bit, extend your arms straight up into the air, just making space so you can slowly and safely land, returning to the earth. Yeah, winter down, extend your legs out front, maybe reach your arms behind you, taking that nice stretch in these opposite directions. Then go ahead and hug your knees into chest once again. Now we're going to come up to seated, so you can rock your way up to seated or roll to one side and press yourself up to seated. And we'll come to boat pose. Won't be here too long because we're going to repeat this floor sequence a little bit later and break this down a little bit. So just a bit of an introduction to boat pose. Nice lengthening of the spine, angled upper body, of course. A nice breath in. We're going to move on this exhale. Crossing legs, either hands in front or hands to the side. So you can swing the legs back behind you. Plank pose. Get another pause right here. Continue to feel belly button pull up towards spine. Still doing your core work. And then a shortcut to down dog. Just bend your knees a little. There you go. And just float the hips up. Continuing with our lunge work. Inhale, extend right leg up and hold on the exhale. Just stay just like that and feel your body get longer if possible. Yeah, pressing your hands more into the floor. Right foot just reaching more towards that back wall or ceiling. We're going to open this up, bend your right knee, bring your heel down towards your backside a bit. A slight lift of that right knee so you feel like your hips are opening up a bit towards the right side of the room. You might even feel a little sensation of a stretch in the hip flexor region, maybe something similar to what you felt in bridge pose. And of course, this hip opener. Breathe in. On the exhale, we'll unwind this posture, step through, right foot to the top of the mat, left heel turns to the floor. Find your center, long spine, hinge from hips, rising up first warrior. And your exhale opening to the left side of the room for our warrior two. Yeah, stepping into place here, adjusting the feet. Balanced, strong, yeah, very sturdy, strong foundation. Long, tall torso, outstretched arms. And then our side angle pose. Let's follow the right hand forward to angle the upper half of the body and rotate here. Reaching downward, reaching upward. Yes. Listening to the body, notice what feels right for you on this side. For me, I tend to stay up much higher in this pose where my hand doesn't get close to touching the ground, but you might be low enough and it feels good, feels comfortable there, good sensations. Let's move, breathing in first. And our exhale will turn, fold, bring your hands to the floor, and step back into plank pose, strong straight line. 
Your shortcut to down dog is good here, bending knees, sending hips into the sky. Then your inhale to extend left leg up into the air. Hold on the exhale. Keep breathing in and out as you feel the body get longer, stronger in the hands as they root into the earth. Arms might get a little straighter and stronger. That left foot reaching back. Let's open the hip, bending your knee, a little lift of the knee. Doesn't have to be much, just enough where you feel sensation. A slight rotation in the spine, opening of the hip, a little hip flexor stretch. Good, breathing in. And our exhale so we can unwind and step through. Or imagine you're stepping over something, landing. Right heel turns to the floor, shifting the weight back. Inhale, float your way up. Warrior one, exhale, expand and open. Warrior two, yes, adjusting the feet, especially that back foot. You might even need to turn the foot in a way where it feels good in your joints, your ankle and the knee. And then side angle pose, reaching forward, rotate the arm, staying up high if that feels best, or maybe gradually going down, we're closer to the floor. Again, just paying attention to how it all feels, pausing when you feel like, okay, that's enough. Right there, feels good. And as you hold, paying attention to breath, feeling the breath just flow through the body. Good poses. Let's get ready to move our breath in. And exhale, turn and fold, hands to the floor. Step back, plank. Finishing the sequence, you can take that same shortcut to down dog or chaturanga dandasana into a back bend and downward facing. We're return to our, that floor work. So again, soft landing on your knees. Sitting back briefly in hero, off to the side, legs around to the front. Once again, sitting in the center of your mat. Roll down onto your back and just a quick hug of the knees in. And then set the feet onto the floor. Just pause here for a few seconds as the body just kind of melts. Really feeling kind of disengaged. Take a breath. So more core work here. So what we'll do, is we'll do a little rocking or movement of the pelvis to get into our low abs. So with feet on the floor, what you'll do, you'll inhale and arch your back. Your bottom's gonna stay on the floor, but you're gonna arch your back. So your low back will lift away from the floor. I call it low bridge. And then when you exhale, tilting the pelvis so your low back presses down into the floor. All the while your bottom does stay on the ground. So again, an inhale to arch the back it's a pelvic rocking sensation. Exhale, feeling the pelvis kind of tilt towards yourself. The low back presses into the floor. And just keep doing that on your own. And inhale, arching the back. Exhale, round it out or feel that low back press into the floor. Now imagine that you were on your hands and knees doing cat and cow. It's a similar sensation. Okay. But with this action, especially with that exhale, that pelvis tilting towards self, low back pressing into the floor, you're engaging your low ab muscles, the transverse abdominus muscles that run across the belt line, but really low and deep. I call it the abdominal floor. Okay? Very engaging and strength building. One more like that. You'll inhale and arch, exhale, press, into the floor with that low back and hold that position. See if you can keep that low back pressing into the ground, but keep breathing without rocking the pelvis at all. Okay, that means the belly won't move too much, but breath, your air, the air in your body has to go somewhere. It has to go up maybe into your lungs. So fill your lungs. And when you exhale, just engage those ab muscles a little bit more as if you're trying to press your low back more into the ground or tilt the pelvis a little bit more. Now we'll take our bridge. Stay here, breathing in. Exhale, still pressing into the ground, and then press feet into the floor, lifting hips into the sky. Okay. That's it. And your arms bent, elbows perhaps pressing into the floor. Again, bracing yourself, lifting. 
Because of that sensation of pressing the low back into the floor before rising, hopefully that creates space in the low back when you do rise so it doesn't feel pinched or bound. One more breath. After that breath, just wiggle the feet forward, making space, arms straight up into the air or even behind you making space, and then roll your way back down to the ground. And again, just extend, extend your legs out front, reach your arms behind you, take that stretch. As you're stretching, continue to be mindful of what you did on the floor right there, that rocking of the pelvis, because we're going to try to mimic it a little bit in boat pose. Go ahead and draw knees into chest. Either rock your way up to seated or roll to one side and come up to seated and come to your boat pose. You might even hold on to the backs of the legs like I am with bent knees. Just ensure your torso feels long and lifted. Now here's the similar sensation. You're going to inhale, lift. You might even feel, at least for me, it almost feels like I'm trying to arch my back, but not really but it's really extending the spine. Exhale as if I'm trying to tuck the pelvis under like you did lying on the floor to engage the belly, but your pelvis won't move because you're sitting on it, right? So an inhale, a little lift or lengthen. Exhale, try to tuck the pelvis under, engaging the abs. Okay, this will certainly build strength, endurance strength since we're holding this for a long time. All right, let's move on this next one, breathing in. And the exhale, crossing legs, hands in front or to the side, hop or step back, plank pose, draw your straight line, plank pose. Because you have that core engagement, you may still feel this right here. Belly button pulling up towards spine. You can even still do that rocking of the pelvis sensation, but it, because you're in a straight line, it's not gonna move much, but you can still engage that way. Now, gently set your right knee on the floor, just your right knee. You're going to swing that right foot off to the right side, making a kickstand. Swing this left arm up into the air, opening your body towards the left side of the room. We'll be in side plank. Just like that, yes. Just a modified version. Okay. With the knee on the floor. Then now imagine you're wearing a belt, and that belt buckle, you're just trying to push forward towards the left side of the room, yeah. And what it might, might feel like is you're pushing the pelvis forward, but your upper body feels like it's leaning back, like you're reaching for something behind you. That's it. And it really aligns the body. Breathe in. And then exhale to slow return to the earth with the left hand, your left knee, and bring your right foot back in. Okay, now we're ready for cat and cow. So that inhale to lift head and heart, arching the back. And exhale, round it all out. Okay, so that same sensation as you did on your back. But what we did on the floor, I had you initiate the movement with your pelvis. See if you can do the same thing here in cat and cow. Rather than the head perhaps initiating the movement, see if the pelvis can do it. So as you inhale, let the pelvis tip back, let then the belly drops, then the chest opens, then the chin lifts. When you exhale, tuck your tail under, then it pulls the belly button in, the back rounds chin to chest. So see if you can initiate the movement from the back end of the body. And you'll feel kind of this undulation through the spine all the way up through to the very top. Finish this breath. Take one more. And just pause in a neutral tabletop position. We'll get set for the other side. We'll just swing the left foot off to the side, making a kickstand. Extend the right leg back behind you, keeping toes on the floor. We'll open up sideways towards the right side of the room with the right hand in the air. That same dynamic of gently sending the pelvis forward towards that wall. Maybe the upper body, maybe even leading with the right shoulder as if it was reaching for something behind you. Just a little bit more opening there. You don't have to force that, but just a little bit more opening. There, yes. Here we are, breathing in. And the exhale, returning right hand to the floor, right knee to the floor. Kink, kickstand comes back in. Maybe three more breaths, cat and cow. Again, initiating that movement from the back end as you're able. If your wrists are a little tired, you can certainly pause, maybe come to a child's pose. And when you're 
complete, just pause once again in this tabletop position. We're going to make our way back into downward facing dog to set yourself up. You might just step your hands forward a tiny bit, then tuck your toes. Next exhale, lifting knees and hips into the air. That might put you in a nice spot where you don't have to make too many adjustments. All right, here we go. Inhale, extending right to leg up behind you. A quick bend and twist. Bending the knee, a little lift to the knee. There's our twist of the spine. Unwind and step through. Right foot to the top of the mat, back to our basic flow. Once you've landed, left heel turns to the ground, floating your way up, first warrior. Exhale, opening to warrior two. Adjusting, okay. Something a little different. We're gonna reach forward, leading with the right arm. Angled upper body, keep the right hand where it is, but bring your left hand up and over. Turn so your palms are facing each other, both hands. And then just keep extending like you're reaching up to the corner of the room. Really extend. Reach. Breathe. Inhale with that extension. Exhale. <sighs> See if you can pull belly in. Now what you're engaging also are your obliques, the sides of the body, especially we're in this angled position. Okay, we're moving. Breathing in. And the exhale, a careful turn, fold, hands to the mat, step back, plank pose, but keep the right foot lifted this time, just a few inches off the floor. It doesn't have to lift very high at all, just a couple of inches is fine. You wanna make sure your foot is lower than your hips, okay? Inhale and just keep lengthening through the body in this position. The exhale, bring your right knee in towards right elbow. It might touch the elbow, it doesn't have to though. Re-extend the leg back behind you. You can keep the foot lifted or set the toes down on the floor and finish your push-up. Coming down if you like, chaturanga, modify it if you need to, perfect. And just finishing your flow. Working your way back into down dog. Rest anytime you need to. Once in down dog, inhale, extend left leg up into the air, bend and twist open. There we are. And our unwinding on the exhale, stepping left foot to the top of the mat. Our basic flow, right heel turns to the floor, rooted and grounded, floating your way up, dynamically reaching. Exhale, expand and open, warrior two. Yeah, maybe a little bit more distance between the feet. Here comes that new pose. I just call it victorious warrior, reaching forward, angled upper body. Your right hand will come up and over, palms facing each other. Keep extending. Inhale, just to keep that reaching feeling. Exhale, draw belly in. You might even feel some things on the sides of the body. There's more endurance building here. Ready to move. Breathe in and exhale. Here's our turn, our fold. Hands back down to the mat. Step back, plank pose, left foot lifted. Dynamically reaching back through your heel or your toes. Just a few inches off the floor. Breathe in, more length. Exhale, bring left knee in towards left elbow. We'll bend of the knee, then re-extend the leg, still in plank. You can keep the toes lifted or set the toes on the floor, finishing your flow. Modify it if you need to. Meeting together in downward facing dog. Once in down dog, a nice breath in, fill up your lungs. Exhale, hop, step, or walk, both feet up to the top of the mat to your forward fold. Inhale, lengthening through your spine. Exhale, fold. Weight shift into your heels, bend your knees. Inhale, reverse your swan dive. Come all the way up, reaching into the sky. Exhale, arms to your side. Good. Ah, some deep breaths, check in with your body, yes. A lot of arm work, a lot of hand work, okay. Along with that core work. Now some standing postures. We'll start with our balancing act, tree pose. Okay. A little softness in the knees. Start shifting weight into your right foot, root into the earth. Okay, nice lengthening through the spine, inhaling. Exhale, draw belly in. We always want to have that core engagement ready for balance. And just peel that left foot up off the floor. You might swing it open out at an angle. Right here is fine for tree pose or out to the side. And then taking or placing the foot on the inside of your standing leg. Up high or down low or much lower if you need the floor. And inhale, extend your arms up into the air. Exhale, connect to your center.
Good, just focusing forward. We're downward at the ground. Keep the arms extended. Go ahead and swing the left knee forward, lifting your knee with a flexed foot. Plant the foot into the ground. Arms can come back down by your side. Ah, letting it all go. Okay. Ready for the other side. A little softness in the knees, a little weight shift into left foot. Press. Get tall and lifted, lengthening with an inhale. Exhale, engage. That's your core work right there. Ready for balance. Floating the right foot up, bending the knee. Swing it out at an angle or to the side. And place the foot on the inside. You can be low if you need it. Inhale, let's take the arms into the air. Maybe straight up, out like a V. You can bend your elbows. You just want to have that energy of getting tall, even if it feels like it's through the crown of your head, being lifted. Okay, and getting that length. Exhaling the abdominal lock, Uddiyana Bandha, drawing in. That's your core work. Okay, balancing, using our core strength here. There we are. Good. Let's keep the arms extended. We'll swing the right knee forward now, lifting the knee with the flexed foot, and we'll plant the foot into the ground. Arms can return to your side, finishing all that. Let it go. Right, let's add a twist here. You're going to inhale, reach the arms into the sky. Exhale, take chair pose. Now your seat might be a high seat like mine is, or you might go down low, or somewhere in between, whatever feels good. Go ahead and bring hands to heart center. Okay, we're going for a twist. You're going to inhale, feel that nice extension through the spine. Exhale, draw belly in, and a mild twist or rotation towards the right side. Doesn't have, doesn't have to be too much of a twist. If you are low enough and you have rotated far enough, you might, these are all maybes, your left elbow might make contact with the right leg. Of course, you don't have to be there. You might be up much higher and have only turned just a few degrees. Just want to feel like your feet are firm on the floor. Drop your eyes so you can see your knees. Make sure the knees still are aligned with one another. Okay. This is more oblique work. Twisting makes strong obliques. Breathe in. And the exhale, unwind. Place your hands on your legs and slide down to a forward fold here. Just releasing all of that. We'll get ready to do the other side. So your weight shift into your heels. Bend your knees. Inhale, reverse your swan dive. Get tall. Take that stretch. Exhale, chair pose. A high seat or a low seat or somewhere in between. Go ahead and bring hands to heart. And inhale, good length of the spine. Exhale, draw belly in. Here's our twist. You can take this incrementally too. Maybe you'll, you'll turn a little bit, pause, check in with balance and alignment, inhale for more length, exhale you might twist a little bit more. So you can take these in small bits. You don't have to go all at once. That's another way of just listening to your body and only moving into the depth of your personal pose as it feels good. Feet are firm on the floor. Check in with your knees as I see them. They look aligned. Hopefully they feel aligned. When your knees are aligned, that means your hips are aligned. Since you really can't see your hips, your knees are your indicator. Here we go, breathing in. Exhale, unwind. Hands on legs and slide down. Forward fold. We are gonna flow from here, but just take the forward fold first. Continuing with the spinal extension, monkey pose, flat back. That's an in-breath, exhale, fold. All the way down we go. Plant your hands into the ground. Hop or step back, plank pose. Come down if you'd like. Chaturanga Dandasana. Or modify it. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. <coughs> Excuse me. Now an inhale to extend right leg up into the air. Bend and twist open. Take another twist. You're going to exhale and bring right knee underneath you towards your left elbow. Good. And then right back up into the sky, straight line. Into the top of the mat, high lunge. So left heel will stay lifted. All ten toes pointing forward. And hinging your way up. Reaching high, lunging low. 
good extension, good balance. Then we're going to hinge forward. Then we're going to start shifting weight into the right foot. Push through those back toes, step forward, chair pose, hands to heart. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale again, another twist to the right. <clears throat> Breathing in. And you exhale to unwind, hands on thighs, fold forward. Inhale, monkey pose. Exhale, hands to the floor, hop or step back, plank. Come on down. Inhale for your up dog or cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Other side, inhale, extending left leg into the air. Bend and twist. And the exhale, left knee underneath you, pointing or maybe touching right elbow. Doesn't have to touch it though. Back up into the sky, straight leg. Left foot to the top of the mat, high lunge on this side. So right heel stays lifted, all 10 toes are pointing forward. You still need to find that center, yes. So the hands are light, so you can easily hinge from hips rising up. Reaching high, lunging low, hugging to center, okay? Just as we hug belly in towards spine, we hug the knees towards center, or inner thighs. Then we'll hinge forward a little bit. Putting weight into the left foot, push off those back toes, stepping into chair pose. Go ahead and bring hands to heart. Breathing in, length of spine. Exhale, twist to your left. <clears throat> Breathing in. And the exhale to unwind, hands on thighs. Once again, just sliding down the legs. Inhale, monkey pose. Exhale, fold all the way down. Hands to the floor, just step back into plank. Let's go to right side plank, onto your right hand, opening up to the left side of the room. Now, the first time we brought the right knee to the ground, you certainly can do that again. Or if you want to try with straight legs, so straighten the legs, now you can stack one foot or one leg on top of the other, or stagger them one in front of the other. Yeah, you can come down to your elbow if that's too much for the wrist. Good, nice. Belt buckles pushing forward, breathing in. Exhale, slowly return to plank pose and right away to the other side. Same thing, left knee can come to the floor or straighten the legs. You do wanna straighten the legs and to keep them straight, flex the feet. Okay, otherwise if the knees are bent, you're gonna feel pretty unstable. Good, very dynamic, good openings, wonderful. Breathing in, here we go. And the exhale, a careful return to plank pose. Go ahead and bring your knees to the floor, sit back in the hero pose, stay in hero, or if that's uncomfortable, just take a regular seat. <laughs> and then take a peek up here, I'm gonna show you a transition that's gonna get us into that pose. So here's my warrior two. Um, our victorious warrior, nice reaching sensation. I'm gonna turn this way, because I'm gonna show you something. Because go ahead and extend, and what might happen, just kind of naturally, you might feel like you're kind of turning downward. I don't know if you can kind of see this. I'm kind of dialed downward, which you wanna feel like as if you're turning upward, okay? Just gonna be a little bit more dynamic through the sides of your body. I'll, pr I'll try to remember to give that cue. So here, kind of opening up, then I'm going to turn, but bring my right hand to the floor, just the right hand, at back foot, I'm just going to spin on the toes, so the toes are now facing the opposite direction, slide or pull that left foot back, stacking the legs, we'll be in side plank. You can always just pause, adjust, and bring knee to the floor as you need to. A little extra, yeah, you can take an arm overhead, maybe lift that back foot, maybe even take that little back bend feel if you want just some options you can add on. Okay, let's return to down dog. We'll take a nice flow to get into that posture. 
downward facing dog and inhale to extend right leg up into the air bend and twist and exhale right knee underneath you towards left elbow core twist I call that right leg back up into the sky straight line right foot to the top of the mat warrior one warrior one left heel turns to the ground balanced rising high exhale opening warrior two wide stance Okay. Victorious warrior reaching out, angled upper body, left hand comes up and around, palms facing each other, reach, get into the pose, and then that slight turn, like you're, tur yes, like you're turning towards the ceiling. It doesn't take much, you'll feel it. And you look really sideways there, and it's pretty dynamic. Breathe in, here we go. Exhale, turn, and just bring your left hand to the floor. Rise up on your tiptoes behind you, but keep spinning on your toes until your toes face the opposite wall. Slide or pull that right foot back, take your time, stack it on top of the other, or stagger the feet if the legs are straight, or even bring the left knee to the ground. If the legs are straight, be sure they are straight. Keep them energized by flexing the feet. Add any other dynamic if you want. There you go, wow. Breathe in. And then exhale or return to plank pose. Take a shortcut to down dog, bend your knees a little, send your hips into the air. Still working with the right leg, inhale, extend right leg up into the sky, right foot to the top of the mat, high lunge, high lunge, left heel stays lifted. <clears throat> Rising up, settling into the pose, then our hinge forward. Weight into that front foot, pushing forward, step forward, chair pose, hands to heart. Inhale, lengthening through the spine, setting yourself up. Exhale, draw belly in, twist to your right. Keep it mild, or maybe you've made a little bit more space with all that core and side work and twists. Maybe you can go a little deeper, but not necessary. Breathe in. And the exhale to unwind, hands on legs, and slowly slide down to your forward fold. And maybe feel that nice release in the low back. Monkey pose, inhale, exhale, hands to the floor, float your way back, plank pose. <clears throat> Come down if you'd like, Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog, finishing in downward facing, good. Nice choice of movement because you can make it up as you go. Okay, here we go, other side, inhale, extend left leg into the air, bend and twist. And exhale, left knee underneath you towards your right elbow for our core twist, there we are. And inhale, left, left leg back up into the sky. And to the top of the mat we go with the left foot landing. Right heel turns to the floor, so back to our basic flow, warrior one. Opening to warrior two. <clears throat> there it is. Getting set up for our victorious warrior, reaching out, right hand comes up and around, palms facing each other. Extend, and that slight turn of torso as if you're gonna turn to face the ceiling. Just a tiny movement does a lot, yeah. Notice all that engagement, very strong bodies. Here we go, new flow, breathing in. Exhale, turn, just bring right hand to the floor. Rise up onto tiptoes behind you, spin those toes all the way around. Slide or pull that left foot back. We're on right side plank now. Modify as needed, right knee can come to the floor with a kickstand or with straight legs, flexed feet. Staggered feet, maybe lifting that left leg. Very strong, breathing in. And exhale, returning to the earth with the hands and toes, finding your center. We'll take a shortcut to down dog, soft knees, hips into the sky. There we are. And again, left leg into the air. And exhale, stepping forward, left foot to the top of the mat, high lunge on this side now. Finding the center, light hands, hinge from hips, it's like you're opening the lid of a box, rising up, nice and tall, kind of that little sink into the center. Then we're hinging forward, putting weight into the front foot, stepping forward. So we're in chair pose, hands to heart, breathing in, fill up the lungs, and exhale for the twist to the left. <clears throat> Wonderful. There we are, breathing in right where you are. And exhale to unwind again, hands on thighs, we're going right back down, forward fold. 
even pause there for a moment. You can let your belly relax. <clears throat> then monkey pose or just extend the spine. Exhale, hands to the earth. Walk, step or hop, both feet back, plank pose. Come down if you'd like, Chaturanga Dandasana. This will probably be our last one. Dog and downward facing dog. So our next pose is shoulder stand or any inverted posture. What you might do here is hop forward, cross your legs, take a seat. You might be near the top of the mat. Keep rolling back, legs and hips go up into the air and just sit in your hands. Or you might just lie on your back and just extend the legs in the air. Just something with the legs up. You might even place a block underneath you first <clears throat> and then raise the feet. Push shoulder stand if you're able. In a couple versions where you have more support by just sitting in your hands. So your hands are kind of around the belt line there and, you're, and you're, there's a little bit of an angle in the body. That's fine. It's perfect. Or to make it a little bit more dynamic, if you want to get that straighter line in the body, you might need to walk your hands down your back a bit towards your mid back so that it will free up the pelvis. And that may allow you to really extend and draw that straight line. Yes, nice. Okay. From your toes right down to your shoulders. You can come out of this pose anytime if you need to modify it. Okay. And, uh, plow pose is optional here. And what you may do is maybe bend the knees, bring your knees towards your forehead, and then extend your legs. Or maybe you can bring the legs down behind you in a straight line. Toes might touch the floor, but they certainly don't have to. That's it. Two more breaths. <clears throat> and making your way out of your inverted posture, make your way back down to the earth and come to fish pose. So what you want to do is come all the way down while you're lying flat, legs are probably straight <clears throat> out in front of you. And you want to lie on top of your arm. So your arms are straight. You might need to rock to one side, get one arm underneath and do the other side. You end up sitting on your hands, long legs, active feet. Usually we point our toes here and then push into the floor with your elbows to help lift your chest. So if you're kind of like rising up out of bed maybe, and then arch your back, so another little bridge pose, and then tip your head back so you might be able to see the wall behind you and it's upside down. Now if you're propped up high enough on your elbows with the head tipped back, your crown might not touch the floor, or you might be low enough where it does touch the floor. Another dynamic positioning in the body here. Take two more breaths. Good. And if you are in that fish pose, you want to lift your head up off the floor, tuck your chin in towards your chest, lie down, and then release your arms out from underneath you and just lie flat there for a moment. <clears throat> Let's do another little core challenge. Bring your knees into chest. Extend the legs up into the air. So we're just lying on our backs, but our legs are up in the air. You might even take your arms kind of out to the side, almost to a T-shape. This will support your body, because what you're going to do here is inhale, fill up your lungs. Exhale, engage the core, and slowly, as slowly as you can, bring your straight legs down to the floor. Now, at the point where you feel your low back lift off the floor, that's the end of your pose. Then you can maybe bend your knees and set your feet down, okay? So the moment you feel your low back lift away from the floor, that's the end of your pose. But if you can keep it pressed into the ground all the way down, go ahead and do that. I'm going to do it again. Once you've finished, take a breath or two. Okay, draw your knees in and take the legs straight up core challenge. Arms out to the side because the palms probably down because like you, you use the floor to help brace yourself. Yeah. Inhale for length. Exhaling already pressing low back into the floor. Belly drawing in. Yes. Look at that. 
Okay, you can do that 18 more times if you want to. Yeah. <clears throat> nice work. Soften the body once you've landed. And we'll take a hip opener here. You might draw knees in once again. Choose your hip opener. It could be a happy baby pose, reclining cobbler's pose, any other hip opener that would feel good at this moment. baby pose. Just remember you can do it one leg at a time. That might even help to get into that hip a little deeper. Do one side and then the other. <clears throat> Good. A couple more breaths. Here, if you'd like, choose another hip opener or move into a twist. There's some twists you can do here. You can draw the knees in, a regular spinal twist where you take the legs to one side, opposite arm in the opposite direction. And just choose a side you want to work with first. You can do that windshield wiper twist where you're lying your back, knees bent, feet wide, and then take both knees down to one side and just get, creates a different sensation. Some of you are crossing one leg over the other, then taking a twist. It's a nice way to kind of get into some bound up spaces in the spine, especially in the low back. Yeah, play with some different options here. <clears throat> Complete, just make your way back up to center. You might pause there for at least a breath, just for a realignment. Then taking knees to the other side, or if you're experimenting with different styles of rotations, go ahead and continue that playfulness and exploration. on the second side. And when you're ready, returning to center, take your time. You might even hug knees into chest. And as you do so, take a moment and decide what you would like to do next. Maybe you feel complete with your practice, so you can move right into your meditative pose, might be Shavasana or some other restorative position. If there's any other movements, stretches, any postures that your body is asking for at this moment, feel free to take the time and move into those positions and movements. complete with your movements, perhaps finding Shavasana or any other restorative posture. Feel the body relax, completely release a softness in the breath.
right where you are. No need to move just yet. Just return to your breath, just in case your mind began to wander a little bit. Just come back to the breath. Just take a deep breath. That will bring you back to the present moment, back to this experience. Turn to the awareness of your breath. Continue this awareness of your breath. Start to bring a bit more energy to your breath. And take five slow, steady breaths here. The intention to bring a little bit more energy and start to bring movement back into your body. taking a moment to acknowledge your practice, focusing on some core work today. Adding to your own strength. As movement returns, take your time moving as slowly as you can. Roll onto one side of your body, pausing for a moment in this nurturing pose. And still moving in slow motion guiding your way up now to seated. And once you're here, you can just rest your hands in your lap or bring hands to heart center. You just take one more breath in and out. As we come to the close of our practice together, we bow saying, Namaste. Namaste. Thank you so much for watching and participating in this yoga lesson. To help us with the channel so we can continue to bring you more content, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. It's really appreciated. Namaste.